Documenting in Rayon just got so much faster thanks to the brand new SketchUp plugin. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to use this plugin import and export from Rayon in under 10 minutes. To get started with Rayon and SketchUp, we of course need a Rayon account and we need a SketchUp program. Now you can get a free trial of SketchUp where you can purchase it completely up to you guys. The best thing about this tutorial is you don't need to download the Rayon app. This still completely works with Rayon browser version. So let's jump into SketchUp. We've just got a generic template open. The first thing we're gonna do is come up to extensions and extension warehouse. A pop-up window will load. If you've never used it before, you probably have to agree to some terms and conditions. After that, we just type in Rayon and hit search. There's only one app that'll come up for Rayon, which makes it so easy for us to find and install. Simply click the Rayon button and then press install. Now I've already installed this, so we'll jump ahead. The next thing you wanna do is come back up to extensions and then go to Rayon. Once you click Rayon, a pop-up window will appear and it'll ask you to sign in. So let's follow the prompts, log in. We'll disconnect from our other sessions and we'll copy this token. It's gonna to ask you to paste the token into SketchUp. So let's paste it in and sign in. Straight away, it's gonna give you access to all of your Rayon files. Now for this particular project, we're gonna use this SketchUp floor plan. So I'm gonna press download. It's gonna provide me with canvas options. I only have a floor plan in this, so super easy floor plan. Next, we wanna set up some information because SketchUp is amazing at pulling out 3D geometry instantly. So you don't have to go and redraw all the walls. You can do it in the blink of an eye. The import options, super basic. What do you want your wall height to be? I'm happy with 2.7. Door height, again, I'm happy with 2.1. Window height, let's make that 1.1 for sure to match our door height and the windowsill one I'm happy with. The units is meters, and I don't need to import wall zones and openings. I'm happy just to import it all. So press import and wait a couple of seconds. You'll get a message saying model canvas imported successfully, and you can go ahead and close that. After that, press cancel and close our rayon window for now. You'll see that it automatically imports our model and creates geometry for us. If I was to jump back to rayon and show you that floor plan, it's exactly what you see in SketchUp, but obviously 2D. We've got our contours, we've got our pool, we've got our main building, and we have timber floors inside. SketchUp's been able to replicate that really, really well and really quickly. So obviously it's thrown in the timber floors and it's built up all the walls and the windows based on those presets we set. Now, if we wanted to edit this in SketchUp before pushing it back into Rayon, super simple, double click, find the items you don't want, and hit the delete button. So for instance, if I don't want those contours, delete them, they're gone. Don't want the trees, delete them, they're gone. If you've ever used SketchUp before, it's literally no changes from how you would typically use SketchUp. You can just delete what you don't need and move forward. Once you've cleaned up your model and gotten it to a place that you're happy with, then you can push the project back into Rayon. Now, the process is very, very similar, but there's one critical step that we need to do. First, you wanna come up to view, down to animation and add scene when you're happy with the setup. For me personally, I'm just gonna press command seven to take it into an isometric view. And then I'm gonna go view animations, add scene. I'm happy for it to just be called scene one, which also means if you troll around, tap back to scene one, it'll bring you back to scene one. It's very much like a 3D rendering scene setup if you've ever done 3D rendering. Next on list, back up to extensions, hit rayon, and we come up to export. To export, we wanna select our scene one, and we can export our textures and our complex objects and everything in between if we want to, or we can just select scene one and keep it relatively simple. Once you've cleaned up your model in SketchUp and exported it into Rayon, it's gonna come in like this. One big group that you can edit, annotate, and do whatever you like, just like we've always done in Rayon. The goal for this project is to make it look like this, which is relatively simple if we break it down into steps. So obviously this looks overwhelming from where we just came from, but there's a lot in here that's super, super simple. So obviously let's take away the furniture as our main component. That's our inspiration at the end of the project. Next, we can toggle away our people and our shadows to really start cleaning it up. We can take away our annotations, some line work, and our floor hatching. Finally, we move our pool, our grid lines, and we're left with the base. So with the base, we've gone in, we've added a few little textures and images to the walls to create color, separation, and everything in between. So for instance, this is just a very dark emerald green, 
but we could literally make anything stylized border white gray using the rayon palette on the right hand side if you've never used rayon make sure you go back and check out one of my original rayon tutorials that showcases exactly how to create all the line work how to change all the textures and all the fills. The first step after we've added some textures and fills to the space is obviously to annotate our pool and our floor hatching. The floor hatching, again, it's just an image fill. There's nothing crazy about it. The grid lines were in our existing SketchUp model. I've just updated the styles, given them a bit of a fill and made it a bit more stylized. After that, shadows are a nice touch. It makes the model appear like it's floating, not very hard to do at all. It's simply a gradient fill. Then I generally like to add the people, which are just simply blocks from Rayon. And they have so many of them that you can add hundreds of thousands of these people and none of them would be the same. Okay, maybe not hundreds of thousands, but you know, a decent amount that you need for your full project. After that, we can include our annotations. So zooming in, we have our main path of travel. We have our room sizing and we have a couple details about the wall color and the floor color. I like to fine tune it with a little bit of additional line work just to bold the outline of the property to really stand out in the space. And then of course, we can go ahead and add our inspirational furniture images. These are obviously imported images brought directly into Rayon, sourced through the internet, Pinterest, wherever you found your inspirational images using Rayon's AI background remover to really speed up the process as well. As a summary, we've gone from this floor plan that's completely 2D and been able to create a 3D isometric image in a matter of hours rather than trying to comprehend and detail this in 2D in Rayon to create an isometric image. So personally, this SketchUp integration is phenomenal. It's going to speed up workflows and it's just going to make life so much easier for all of us. Anyway, that's all for me team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and like always, I'll see you next week.